Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we're going to talk about some of the mistakes that I've made in my gearing progression. I've definitely made a couple doozies and it set me back multiple times. So we're going to talk about some of the things you can do to kind of offset these delays. We're also going to talk about some of the solutions to these problems and kind of how I'm going to fix my gear so that I'm going to be good going forward. So let's go ahead and dig in. So first off, we're going to take a look at my weapons here. And one of the things you'll notice is that I do have weapons that are enhanced across the gamut. I have my main weapon, which is a four-star fire bow, which is sitting at plus 18. I have another divine bow, which is a four-star, which is at plus 12. I have a infinity bow I pulled, which is at plus 13. And I have a four-star water bow at plus 16. Now, a lot of these materials were enhanced. Now, enhancement is the green plus icon. A lot of them were enhanced with the specific elemental materials in mind. That's going to be the triangle resources that you can use for specific elements. However, knowing what I know now, I would have saved the rainbow version of these resources for my fire bow, for that final push from plus 18 to plus 20. I'm really dying here. I'm really wanting to get to that plus 20 to plus 21 power gap and that power jump. And it's just killing me that I don't have the resources to get there. And I know I wasted so many resources previously uh, that I could have been saving for the fire bow. So if you're out there, if you're kind of doing your gear like this, definitely hold on to those resources. Another thing that I'm really struggling with is the actual ascension material. So that's gonna be the evolution materials from three star to four star to five star to six star. Because a lot of the times when I was beginning, I spent a lot of those materials on my three star weapons, even though I did have four star weapons. And spending those materials like that was a little bit unwise because it is a very powerful bottleneck. And what happens is you have some weapons six star now, like your three star weapons, and then you have other weapons like your four stars that are not six star. And while that doesn't sound like a huge deal, uh, it does change the amount of gems that you can place on it. And while you don't get a ton of stats from awakening your gear, you do get different gem slots. And so that's one of the biggest drawbacks, I think, is that I ascended a lot of my three star gear to plus six early, and I probably should have left my three star gear sitting at five stars, just kind of cook in there to focus on my main weapons. Now, I'm gonna jump to accessories because accessories have a little, it, there's a story here. And the story that I'm gonna tell you right now uh, is a bit of a disaster. And for anyone who's a min-maxer, you're probably gonna rip your hair out. But I initially was very invested in the Ardor Necklace. It gives Fire Familiar attack up, gives attack up, it's Awakening 8, it's plus 18. It gives 2300 attack. However, I got lucky on getting a Tyrant Scale. And I wanted this to become my main neck piece for the future. And I figured in the long run, this is probably gonna outvalue this one. So I started investing in this. And it would have been fine, except for one thing. And that one thing is that I should have enhancement transferred my original necklace over to this piece of gear. The reason is because this gear is still not as powerful as this one, because this is Awakened 8. This also, had to get all the way up to plus 17. So I have literally a plus 17 and a plus 18 necklace now, when I literally could have just transferred the plus 18 over here, had almost an equivalent piece of gear, and probably easily hit this to potentially be a plus 20 to plus 21 right now. So if I had been much smarter with my gear, I would have been able to save myself the pain. Now, what I'm gonna do to solve this problem is I am planning on investing in multiple necklaces in the future. So this three star that I have now that I'm currently equipping is basically just going to be a placeholder for the plus 18 for now until I get either the silver beard necklace to transfer the stats or potentially the water proto necklace uh, and I could transfer the stats over to that. So there are options to kind of save this, but for me as a player now, you know, in the long run, it doesn't really matter. But for the limited resources that we currently have 
right now at this point in the game like this has absolutely crushed the cp level of my character like some of these equipment choices that you guys have seen some of these mistakes that i've made have probably cost me upwards of a hundred thousand cp uh just in terms of not being able to hit that plus 20 to plus 21 tier and power level now, I did get the new ring, which I talked about in the last couple of my videos, and my goal is to not make the same mistake on the Vulcanord ring. So, I am going to be working on my Vulcanord ring. You can see I already got it five star down here, and I'm just going to transfer the stats, the plus 11 from this ring over to my Vulcanord ring, and then switch it as my main ring. Now, yes, it is a element specific and I will lose out on some familiar damage, but this is going to quickly outpace the defense of this ring over here. And I'm reasonably confident it's going to be at kind of a small cost. I'm just kind of waiting right now because you do lose the piece of gear when you enhancement transfer and it does cost diamonds as well. Uh, so I do want to wait until it's plus uh, until it's awakened 10 uh, so that it does kind of I don't have to worry about getting a three star ring to awaken 10 again. I don't have to worry about that for the future. Uh, I can just dismantle the three star rings that do come into my inventory. Finally, we do have equipment, and everybody, equipment has been a doozy for me. Uh, armor has caused some problems, specifically boots and helmets. And if you're looking at this right now, and you're just like, Jesus Christ, you would not be wrong. Uh, <laughs> I've kind of, I, I've kind of been in a situation where when I first started the game, I invested in three stars. And then I managed to pull some four-star gear. Uh, so I slowly started slotting the four-star gear in. But then it turns out I pulled the best-in-slot headgear, right? Or one of the best-in-slot headgear. So it literally goes like this. Uh, I started out, um, I was using my three-star hard helmet. It's, you know, Awaken 3 was really good. Then I managed to pull the four-star mystic helmet. And I actually got it to Awaken 4, so I'm like, okay, this is pretty good. Gives good accuracy. I'm going to be able to focus this for a main time. Then I managed to pull Awaken 2 on the Saintly Circuit, which gives defense 12%. And I was kind of like, well, that defense 12% is kind of better than the other helmet, but I can't Enhancement Transfer the other helmet because it's Awakened 4, and I can't Enhancement Transfer my regular helmet because it doesn't have really that much enhancements on it. So... I'm going to maybe start gearing up the <laughs> Immortal Circlet. And then I pulled these babies. The Overlord helmet, helmet, which gives damage from familiars down. And I pulled the Immortal Helmet, which gives stun knockdown and subdue resist rate up. Which, in my mind, is, you know, probably an okay piece of gear for PvP. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm probably going to want to swap to one of these. But the Immortal Circlet is so good. Or the Saintly Circuit, I'm going to call it the Immortal Spear in all stream now. I, it's just, I'm in a mess, right? Because I've invested resources on, you know, just in helmets alone, two different helmets. Now I'm looking at a third and I have two rare plus helmets that I pulled. I really need to kind of focus and consolidate and figure out where I'm going with helmets. Very similarly, I had the same thing happen to me on boots. So we do have an Awaken 6 four-star expert boots here. And the good thing with boots, at least, is you are going to be using these for different purposes. Uh, so the expert boots give basic attack evasion rate up. And then I pulled the Dragon Slayer boots. And these give skill evasion rate up. And I wanted to keep both of them because you're going to be in a situation, you know, particularly in dueling arena, where you are going to be in an auto attack battle between you and an opponent. So you're going to want both pieces of gear. So while my main set may comprise of dragon slayer boots you know i'm i still don't have i still don't have the materials because i've been investing in my other four star gear and it's just been a cascading amount of kind of failures and almost unprecedented um pulls and bad luck and i think a lot of players are probably in this position right now i hear from a lot of players i need to do this weapon i need to do this weapon i need to do this weapon and I hear you on that because a lot of people, you know, they don't know, like they'll have the situation where they pull this uh, circlet and that defense plus 12% is like, yeah, that's really good. That's really great. But I already have my awakened three star helmet at six star. So I just want people to kind of know that you're not in the same, like we're all in the same boat. Like I make these mistakes too. 
And I think if I were to start everything over, right, which is the point of this video, is to get you guys to stop the mistakes. Uh, I would say don't invest into anything plus 10 right away or over plus 10. Or if you do invest in something over plus 10, make sure it's a piece of gear that's going to last you a while. Commit to it. Make sure you're going to be using it long term. A great example uh, would be the iron gloves, right? Uh, or the skillful gloves. These three star gloves would be an excellent piece of gear to invest in because it gives accuracy rate up, which is exceptionally powerful, right? Uh, you know, accuracy is one of the defining features of kind of a really powerful setup. And let's say you pulled one of these berserker gloves, you might want to invest in these too. Um, but maybe you go for these gloves first because you can't awaken these all the way, right? Uh, and maybe you plan on feeding this to another one. Moral of the story, have a plan with your enhancements. Plan out your gear, figure out what you're going to do, and kind of go from there. Hopefully this video helped you guys. I hope my mistakes, I hope I'm sure you guys are repeating my mistakes and I'm sure there's pain all across the board, but hopefully you can learn something from this video. Hopefully someone out there is watching this as a new player and they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to plan a little bit more than Diggs did. So thank you so much for watching guys and have a great rest of your day.